so let's discuss about transposition cipher in transposition cipher what we are doing is we have to rearrange the letter in plain text to produce the cipher text okay the the property of uh, uh, transposition cipher is whatever is there in the plain text all the letters are repeated in the cipher text the only thing is we are we are actually rearranging the letter okay so i would like to explain this with an example let's consider this rail fence cipher rail fence is a transposition cipher and uh, what is the algorithm behind rail fence cipher so suppose we are having this plain text hello world right now rail fence cipher says that okay you can transposition these words or you can jumble this word in such a way that you have to write it you know somehow top to bottom uh, you know in in this fashion right so i am writing h e l l o w o r l d okay so i am writing hello world in this fashion actually from left to right and top to down okay and whatever we get as an output will become the cipher text so on the channel i will send this message right so this will become our y this is the uh, this is x okay as per the diagram that we have discussed this is the plain text and this is the cipher text what is the algorithm that you have to rearrange this words from top to down and left to right okay and then you know you will get definitely two words out of it and you will send each word as a, uh, consider each word as a cipher text right. now how can we break this or will we consider it as a strong cipher as uh, you know identified by you that uh, it could be possible that we can apply brute force attack on this right but definitely if the message is quite uh, large then it will become difficult for us to um, consider all possible combinations right is there any smarter way to do things so can we somehow uh, uh, bring statistics into picture knowledge of language or things like that as uh, you know identified by you that uh, it could be possible that we can apply brute force attack on this right but definitely if the message is quite uh, large then it will become difficult for us to um, consider all possible combinations right is there any smarter way to do things so can we somehow uh, uh, bring statistics into picture knowledge of language or things like that <clears throat> so let me tell you one technique maybe right so you know these are called anagrams actually so uh, what is anagram anagram is a sequence of letters which have been jumbled to you know hide the original word somehow we are jumbling the the anagram and we are making a new word right if you have seen in some newspaper you know there are some words uh, given to you and you have to uh, rearrange it so that it will become a meaningful word right and some hints are given to you for that so in this case also these are considered as anagram which is nothing but a sequence of letters that are actually jumbled to hide the original word there is a technique called anagramming now anagramming what do you mean by anagramming anagramming is somehow the skill of unjumbling this bunch of letters and reveal the hidden word out or hidden meaning out of it this is called anagramming now how anagramming can be done But so in in case of uh, our cipher text or crypto system this is again known as script analysis right so somebody is actually trying to break the uh, algorithm that we have proposed right so one method of doing this is anagramming if if you you know uh, closely observe one very important property of transposition cipher is that whatever letters used in a plain text they are the same letters which are used in the cipher text right so if there is one h 
there is also one edge if there are three l in the cipher text cipher text also contain three l's okay so if one gram frequency match english frequency but other n gram frequency do not match it it is a transposition okay if you see h e h e may not come into the cipher text okay so what do i mean by 1 gram 2 gram 1 gram uh, uh, 1 gram means you are taking one letter at a time 2 gram means you are taking two letters at a time 3 gram means you are taking three letters at a time so on so forth okay this is called anagramming so if we say 1 gram uh, frequency okay 1 gram frequency means we let's consider how many h are there there is one h how many e's are there there is one e how many l are there there are three l how many o two two o's right so if we cross check it with the cipher text with the one gram frequency of cipher text they actually match exactly match right there is also one h three l two o and so on so forth but when you consider two gram uh, uh, you know frequency so frequency of h e frequency of e l frequency of l l it may be possible that it differs in cipher text and plain text for example h e is not at all present in the cipher text e l is present uh, for the one, for once right l l is again not present l o is present so things like that right so if 2 gram frequency does not match or n gram frequency does not match but 1 gram frequency matches it means you are using transposition right so this is a very important property of transposition which can be exploited by the adversary to fire the attack okay now let's uh, see one possible attack what we have to do is we have to break this uh, cipher right what we can do we can rearrange the letter to form n gram with highest frequency okay so i will again come to this let me explain what we are trying to do here so let's consider two gram frequencies one thing is quite clear that all the words which are in this cipher text that are also part of the plain text the only thing is we have to rearrange it now in rearranging what we we will try with let's try with 2 gram in the beginning okay so let's take a letter say h okay now i need to find out frequency of 2 gram of all the all the 2 grams which are starting with h okay so what are the possible um 2 gram what are the possible 2 grams which we can derive from this so one possible 2 gram is h l one could be h o one could be h e yes aur kya aa sakta hai h ke baad w another could be h r another could be h t i think that's it yes so these are the possible uh, two grams uh, which can which, which we can derive from uh, the cipher text Uh, which are beginning from h right similarly what you have to find it you have to find uh, frequencies of 2 gram which are ending from uh, ending to h right ending in h so lh oh eh wh rh bh okay these are the 2 grams which are ending in h now what we have to do is we have to find the frequency of these 2 grams okay so you know since english uh, the letters are not uh, uniformly distributed okay so there are a uh, lots of lots of studies which can show you the frequency analysis okay the frequency of you know uh, what is with with what probability h will be followed by h uh, l will be followed by h and o will be followed by h or Uh, h will be followed by l and things like that right so this is called frequency analysis so now actually what we are doing is we are using some statistics which are related with the english language okay and this is easily uh, you know uh, i mean make general to any language so each language 
is having their own set of rules, their own frequency analysis tables, and so on and so forth, right? So generally, all the natural languages are not uniform in nature. Okay, they they are, uh, I mean, they are distributed in a different way. Frequency analysis on these letters are actually knowing with what probability the letter is coming. Okay, so there are big English literature, novels, and things like that. So people used to analyze those texts. And they will collect the data, and then they will let you know that this is the probability of, uh, you know, L followed by H or H followed by L, things like that. So uh, we have that particular frequency table with us. Now, what you have to do is you just need to find out that, you know, in what possible way I can rearrange this, or, or what possible way I can find the uh, highest frequency and then we had will try to rearrange it into that manner okay so the probability of h followed by e is 0 0.0305 and the probability of ho is this and rest all are less than you know 0 0.0010 whereas the frequencies of 2 gram ending in h uh, wh is having this frequency 0026 whereas all other are having less than 0 0.0002, okay? So the next job is to find or to choose the two gram which is having highest frequency, okay? So in this data, we can see that H followed by E, okay, uh, is having the highest frequency. Are you getting my point? Okay. So what we will do, we will just choose this particular two gram. And that's all. We are done. Now what we have to do is somehow we have to rearrange the combination in a way so that H will become adjacent to uh, E. Okay. So this is the ciphertext given to us. What we want, we want these to be uh, followed. Uh, I mean E should be followed by, uh, E should follow H, right? So this is how we will arrange. Now what you have to, you just have to try some more position. So if this H uh, is followed by E, then this L will be followed by this L. Then this O will be followed by maybe W, right? Then this O will be followed by R. And then uh, where I am actually, yeah, this L will be followed by D, right? And if you can do this, you can easily buy this having a look at closer look at it you can identify that if we can read this thing across then down right h e then down hello h e l l o w o r l e okay we can actually get the plain text anyone of you can tell me what is the key can i identify the key now i have the cipher text i have the plain text with me the key right how you can identify the key because you can say that okay h is followed by l okay so it could be this l let's consider it this l so maybe e you have to skip e so maybe write e somewhere else and then write this l okay and then carry on in this manner okay so uh, next skip the second letter and then write the third letter Skip the next letter and then write the uh, again the next letter, so on and so forth. And if the, this matches with the cipher text, you are done. This is the key. This is how they have transposed it, right? So there is actually a very strong correlation between the plain text and the cipher text, and that is the reason we cannot consider it as a strong um, uh, cipher algorithm, right? Because the first thing is if the algorithm is known, like you know that this is a transposition, you know underlying property. That if this is a transposition, definitely the letter frequency, one gram letter frequency matches. Okay. Based on that, you can have an attack. You can get to know the plain text. If you are in the position of plain text and cipher text, you actually know what would be the key. Okay. So this that is why we will not, we cannot consider it as a strong, encryption algorithm, okay?